Hey y'all, how you doing? <coughs> mm. I hate to start out like that, but that's basically how it is. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize now. Um, in making this video, I'm probably going to cough a little bit. Um, I've got bronchitis, so, uh, and I don't have the coronavirus. I've been tested, and it came back negative, so thank you, Jesus, for that. Okay, and look at there. Yeah, there's Ollie coming back from God knows where. <laughs> so anyway, I'm uh, working on my daughter's car again. Oh, looks like we have a visitor. Hey there, buddy. How are you? Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. This ain't your turf, this is his turf. You're just a guest here. I'm gonna run you off, you're gonna be mean. Hey. Hey, mister. Hey. <whistles> Looks like he's gonna try to be mean. Oliver, you need to... So, anyway, ignoring the cat issue. Okay. Today we are working, or this evening, rather working on my daughter's car again it's the 11 uh, Dodge Avenger I'm also a little short on breath too so I'm not like going at this like crazy you know go 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 uh, I'm doing this kind of a little bit at a time so this is probably gonna be a two-part video so I'll just warn you now okay um, but the water pump is down in there. Matter of fact, you probably can't even see it, but it's if you have these, it's right down there. It's on the back side of the engine here. As a matter of fact, you can probably see it pretty good. I'll put the light in here. Oh, sorry. So. Or, wait a minute. My apologies. Yeah, see, there's the water pump right there. All right, yeah, we're going to get it. All right, now I've already got the pulley off. It's down there. Three bolts and a 10 millimeter head. Best thing to do. <coughs> Best thing to do. Leave the belt tensioned. Break the bolts loose, go from underneath. It's easier to get to. And then, uh, you know, go ahead and drain your coolant as much as you can, and then go ahead and take the bolts loose on the water pump. Pop that loose while retaining maybe one or two bolts in there. Let the rest of the coolant drain out. Then you can get it off. Probably the best to do is either pull it out through up here or underneath. I'm thinking up top. But who knows at this stage. Now, I'm just going to warn you, it's going to be a little, sorry. <coughs> it's going to be a little close quarters in here, so. Just, uh, okay. But, it's going to be a little close quarters in here, so. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, the tensioner takes like a... Oh, it's a 16 millimeter. Uh, you need a 16 millimeter wrench or socket to get that tensioner loose. And uh, try not to like take the belt. Sorry, shine there right in your eyes, wasn't I? My apologies. Anyway, like I was saying, try not to take the belt completely off. Uh, try to leave it up there as much as possible so you can kind of remember how it goes because there's like one tensioner and it looks like there's two idlers <laughs> plus you got your alternator your water pump your crank pulley ac compressor and a power steering pump there's a lot going on there so yeah it's there's there's quite a bit so without further ado i'm gonna get under here there's uh 13 millimeter bolts i do believe that are 
holding the water pump on. There's five of them. Um, I went ahead and I bought a new water pump from Amazon. That's about $44. It's a Gates. And, you know, I've said this before, but it's a good idea. Go ahead and get the good stuff. You know, spend a little bit more up front. Just a lot less hassle in the long run. Especially when you're dealing with this. Okay, see the water pump back there? Yeah. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, I need an extension. <clears throat> so, let's go into the garage and get an extension. Yeah, you can probably do that with wrenches, but, you know, look at, uh, better look forward to busting your knuckles on it practically everything so uh, go ahead and get some. one I have a shorter one uh, uh, no excuse me my apologies I wouldn't really be doing this right now, but my daughter's car is down and she can't really drive it and rely upon it. <coughs> it's been overheating a lot and uh, it's been a constant problem. We've been trying to tackle this for a while. So let's see what else I can do, okay? All right. All right. I feel like I should be saying, like a submarine commander, you know, going underneath here. I should be like a. Submarine commander saying, dive, dive, dive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit left to work, I guess. But I have fun with it, so. Okay. I don't know if you can, hope you can see what I'm seeing. But there's a water pump right up there. Like I said, it's five volts. Yep. I think they're 13 millimeter. Oh no, I don't think they are, I think they're 12. Yeah, oh, that's pretty loose for 13 millimeter. So, we'll go ahead and get the 12 off the socket rack. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do, trying to do this one-handed basically. So, anyway, like I said, close quarters. <laughs> anyway. Now, let's see. Okay, yeah, that fits a lot better. Oh. Let's see. All right, so here we go. All right. Now, I'm going to go around and try to loosen all of them up. Okay, break them all loose. Now, almost looks like one of them I may be better off with like a, a regular wrench. And my ratchet, the socket just fell off my ratchet. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You won't get the gist of what I'm doing here, so. I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna get that sucker off. I'll let you all see the end result. Okay? All right. So. Okay. I'll pause this. I'll be right back. I'll show you a little bit more. All right, y'all. I'm back and got all the bolts out of the water pump. I'm going to go ahead and knock it loose and see if I can get it out. It's probably preferable to do this uh, up here rather than down there. It's like everything 
that could be in the way is in the way. Let's see. I'm gonna have to come up with a different strategy. So now, one thing when you're doing anything like this, replacing water pumps, all near starters, whatever, any kind of part, it doesn't matter. Look at your new part first. It'll give you an idea of what you're up against, okay? So I've got the new water pump right here. As you can see, I already seen this got five bolts. Okay. <clears throat> and I went ahead and got the gates, like I said earlier. A, bit, a little more spendy, a little more money, but just better off in the long run. Okay. This is not, not necessarily a hugely difficult job, but it's not necessarily easy either. So, you know, there's just other things I'd rather be doing right now. Like working on this or this or this yeah i know i've got crap all over my barracuda i'm sorry i'll get it cleaned up okay so anyway getting back to it all right um i'm going to take my pry bar take a pretty big one and i'm going to get that water pump loose off there what you'll encounter sometimes is that parts will, uh, when they have a gasket, when they're sealed to some part of the car, some part of the engine, they will like be still feel like they're bolted on even when they're not. So I got the drain pan down there. If I can get this loose, get it to budge. I think I'm going to have to go down underneath. So. And here's James. Another random shop cat who decides to park himself on my cardboard. I'm like, that's all good. It's all good, though. No problem. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see the water pump back there. Let's see, can I put my light somewhere where... See what I'm doing? Possibly. Maybe. Okay, then. Hope you can see the water pump, the little snout of it sticking out up there. And I dropped my pry bar. There we go. See, that's why I did it like this. I didn't want that all over me. So, that's what you do. Okay. And you notice I got a pan here to try and collect at least some of the coolant so it doesn't go everywhere. the way is proving difficult. Mm. Okay. I may have to let that sucker drain and get back to it later. I don't know. Okay, I 
actually seeing where it's came loose from the from this little housing. See, it, it sits on a little housing that bolts to the side of the wall. And oh, let's see, I got a little. Yeah, it's came loose a little bit there on the bottom. Whoops. You spy what I spy? I left a bolt in there, didn't I? I forgot all about that, dude. <coughs> okay, I'll be right back. Show you more. Okay, y'all, got it out. There it is. Okay, um, looks like it's been replaced once before, but this one here has a plastic impeller, which sometimes those have mixed results. So, anyway, I'll tell you what, let me turn the light up here just a minute. So, yeah, sometimes those plastic impellers, the new one is a metal impeller.